Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'll be taking apart some headphones with household objects. Or I'll be attempting. <laughs> so, um, what I mean by household objects is I'm not going to be using uh, any hammers or screwdrivers or any tools of that sort. I'll be at the most using like scissors, pencils, and rulers. So things like you could just find around the house. So what I'm trying to do is if you don't have a toolbox or any tools, you could probably attempt this. Um, the only thing I'm gonna say, if you do wanna take this apart and you are under the age of, or let's just say your child, Please do with adult supervision because I will be using scissors and there are sharp, it can be sharp if you take the headphones apart incorrectly. And if you're an adult, well, you can make your own life choices, I guess. So, um, I will be trying to take it apart with scissors, pencil, and a ruler. I don't really think I should use a pencil because there's no point of it. Um, in the comments, please tell me if I could have used a pencil in this, because I'm not sure. Um, I'm going to be using some staples, maybe. Yeah, I'll just find something that's on my desk. So, um, to take this apart, this is purely for fun. There's no other reason to take this apart, I guess, unless if you want some of the parts. And if, if you're taking about headphones... Uh, please ask the owner before, um, I think that's all the disclaimers, well, except for do not try this at home, but I have that written there. Um, so, so firstly, the easiest part is using your hands, I guess. You can just pull off these. I'm actually going to keep these because these are nice cushioners for my, uh, do you call them cushioners? No, probably not. Um, cushions for other headphones if I lose them. So, then under here, um, there is this three-pronged sort of thing. It varies on, um, on headphone, uh, but on mine I have three individual things and under here is a speaker which I'll take apart right now um so I'm gonna move all this out of the way so I don't somehow damage that well I'm damaging everything pretty much right now but um I'm gonna be using a bigger one and I it up right here on the line so that's gonna be hard if I show you but um I'm gonna line it up right on the line I'm not put my fingers in front of it, I'm just holding it. And then, oh wow, that totally didn't work. Okay, um, there should be like a, yeah, I'm sure if you just hammer it. Yeah, so if you hammer it slightly, oh wow, look at that. So here's the top area, as you can see where the three prong thing, it's just plastic basically. And under here is a little subwoofer and this is the actual speaker. I'm not gonna, oh, that, that's actually interesting. So um, all it is, is just a small little subwoofer. I'm actually curious right now um, if this will work if I plug it into uh, my phone or iPad because if that still works that I'm amazed um but actually I'm not gonna do that because it might I might electrocute yourself I might electrocute myself and I would not do that well open parts are exposed okay that's a example of having a bad idea so this cable connects through here. Here, let me zoom in. Um, and 
it is knotted here and they stripped the wire <laughs> so I'm trying to give you up close so they stripped the wire and here's oh wow that, okay so it's magnetic for some reason oh it's just my screwdriver sorry see um you really likes the copper uh so and then it has the copper plating at the back which is soldered so that's interesting for being such cheap headphones and it's basically just plastic here and then it sort of slides through the whole thing oh my goodness um so yeah uh i will try oh so i have this little thing at the end where it um sort of slides off you guys probably don't i'm gonna try to not break this actually because it's very interesting i want to keep it for display so i'm gonna just shatter this because there's no other way of me keeping it so But always be careful to, well, first of all, let me take these off. Um, always have your safety glasses on when you're using a hammer. Um, and don't put your finger in here. So I'm just going to. So that is obviously not working. Um, oh, like I said, oh. Yeah, so I already used um, this. So let's say, so you can basically do it with the end of a um, uh, scissors. You could also just cut through it, I guess. But be careful not to cut the wire because you can do that, I guess, if you want. Oh, this is not as easy as I, oh, okay. And now I broke my scissors. <laughs> okay. So, maybe don't use scissors. I'm going to try bigger scissors. I'm really zoomed in. You can't see anything. Okay. So, we're going to cut this then. Okay. So, I'm going to keep the subwoofer because I like it. Um, you can get rid of it if you want. So, there it is. Then, I actually somehow cut through the wire. That is not such a good idea of me. And then you can just pull off this area. So on this side, I'm gonna keep this out of pure spite. So I'm gonna actually show you what's under here. So it's easier to show you if I give you this too. So um, right here on the speaker, you can see the two wires I'm gonna use a pencil um you can see the two wires right and these are very thin as you can see and what they are are they are twisted and put through the cable so if that can focus I don't know if you can even see that sorry about my hands <laughs> quarantine either way there's there's two wires inside the cable and they link up to the uh two circuit so it creates a circuit so you might see this in future videos i'm gonna just i place my trophies here i guess that i can't really put back together so that will show you what's on the inside as you can see over there. So yeah. Uh, next, I'm going to take off this end. Um, so, just for pure satisfaction, I'm going to do this. Because who doesn't like to separate them? Wait. And that stops for some reason. Okay, there. And then it ends here. So one of these cables leads to the one headphone 
And the other one leads to the other. Duh. Um, so then they both interlock into here, which I will actually open up because I've never seen under this. So I'm going to try to open that up with scissors. These are some big scissors. So I'm trying to be careful. Um, so there are two dots on there. And then over here, I'm going to try to strip these somehow. I'm not sure how the, I'm going to be able to do that. Uh, but um, I'm going to try to use my broken scissors. Please don't break your scissors. They are a useful resource in times like now. Okay. So I'm guessing. Yeah, so this is just extra areas so the um, wire doesn't bend when it's going straight inside. So this is where, like I said before, I think, um, this is where all the magic happens. So I'm going to try to strip this off. I'm not actually going to be able to do that. So, so yeah, that's nice. Um... You can use a, a normal nail file. Actually, I'll use a normal nail file. Um, yeah, wait, let me go grab it. Please don't bully me about my house. <laughs> that did not sound good. Okay, so I'm gonna grab nail file. Hope this works. Um, yeah, so you could just just use a um a industrial file that I have uh, which would work much faster to file this off I'm not going to do that though because I might actually file my skin off which would not be the best thing to show on camera to say the least um so I'm gonna use the coarsest on here and I will attempt to file off as much as I can. And if it doesn't file off that much, then so be it. So it's obviously not <laughs> working very well, so I'm just trying to cut this off bit by bit and see when it starts transferring. So you can just, here, I'll show you that a little bit better. You can just, sort of shave it off by cutting it off. So, like I'll cut off some bits. Um, so obviously, not every headphone has the uh, same building, build, build, build. So it might be different. Um, I'm just using the cheap headphones that we got for free from a tour that we take took but uh, okay so uh, it's hard for me to cut through here so that shows you that this is probably right here right here is probably where the um, the wires start turning more and connects to the actual audio jack so I'm going to start being a little more careful over there. You can also just follow the wires. Why, wires. Oh, look. Um, can you see that? There's a black bit exposed, which is probably... Oh, and there is a third wire. There is a third wire. Look at that. Third wire. That's probably for a microphone, I'm guessing. Um... Or is it? That is, yeah. The, so there's a. Oh, it's gonna be hard to show you. Um, there is a green. So there is a green, a orange, and an a red. Well, it's sort of yellow. It's green, yellow, and red colored um, wires on the inside. 
So this is really dangerous. I would not try this at home doing the shaving bit. I'm just trying to show you this so you can see the inside. Also, I'm very curious. So you can see. And zoom out. Um, the reason why I keep on um, uh, switching the camera like from here to here is because I have to wrap my hands around the stand, which is not the best for precision, but I guess it works. So I'm going to try to get you the best angle. So it's going to be really hard for me to do this with household objects. Um, but there is a black area, which I'm not, I'm no scientist, <laughs> but the wires should interlock with it and it should be, I don't know, it should solder its way into it through a connection, I guess. But so, yeah. And, um, once you're done with all that, you're left with some wire which I don't know what you can do with it. Um, you can do many things with wire. So this is stripped. Um, you could strip the wire, look at the inside. So, oh, wow, wow, this is interesting. I don't know if I can actually show this on camera though. There is, so there is fiber optics right here. See that? That's either fiber fiber optics, which I'm guessing it is, because it does not feel like normal uh, fur, or it's just frayed wire. So, um, it has now been 17 minutes. Wow. Okay. Um, thank you for watching. If you watch this far, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, so this is sec second video on my channel. So I'm just going to thank you for this. So again, the list of tools that I used, scissors. So use big scissors though. And be careful, they have to be sturdy because or else this will happen. Um, uh, I also used the, um, that's really all I used, did I? Yeah, so. Scissors win. <laughs> um, if I got the wrong somehow, I mean, I use my hands too, I guess, so that counts. Either way, this is going to be a very long video. Hope you enjoyed. Please remember to like and subscribe and share the video. <laughs> um, yeah, see you in the next video. Bye.